Hey guys, today I want to talk uh, just briefly about uh, hip hinging, the movement hip hinging. Most of you are probably aware of it, especially if you are a trainer. Uh, this movement is often uh, performed wrongly due to several dogmatic teachings that I will address now. Uh, the main thing that you need to be aware of is that to make the hip hinge really effective, because it is effective when done properly, is that we have to maintain proper alignment of the pelvis throughout the motion. And that means that we first of all need to know what is pelvic alignment, what is proper pelvic alignment, because most people think that the back is straight, but it is not, guys, the back, the lower back is arched, okay? Uh, second of all, we need to know what uh, and how to maintain that alignment throughout the motion. So let me uh, demonstrate how you do it properly. So you arch the back enough to engage the lumbosacral spinal erectors. You bend at the hip while maintaining this alignment as far as possible. Okay. On the way up, you gently straighten yourself out without losing the curvature. Uh, most people will do two common mistakes. Uh, well, actually three, but let me start with the first most obvious one. And that is not starting in proper position because a lot of people think that the spine is straight but it is not the spine is not straight so they start here and they hinge in this uh, alignment which uh, it is not completely use useless but it will not uh, help your client nor yourself to become injury free neither because the low most spinal erectors are dis disengaged and uh, there will be anterior shear forces on the disc excessive anterior uh, shear forces. The second thing is that many people will be able to arch their back, they will come down and they will go up and tuck the butt on the top. And this is absolute dysfunction, it is nonsense, you will get hyperextension of the hip, you will have flexion of the lumbar spine and you know there's greater axial compression on the top than in the bottom. So there's absolutely no uh, sensible foundation for doing this. We need to maintain alignment throughout the motion. Okay. I will probably make another video on that, that topic alone. Uh, the third thing, and this is more like a newbie error, is to uh, maintain proper alignment but go too low, right? So that you round over in the bottom. And that's fine if you are going to just put on your shoes, but it is absolutely not fine if you are squatting or deadlifting, for example. Okay. So following these uh, simple uh, principles, maintaining proper alignment, not going deeper than you have actually have the mobility to do. It will absolutely greatly uh, relieve back pain uh, during exercises and during uh, daily uh, doings uh, by helping the spine to, uh, to be aligned while loading and moving. Okay. So I hope this was informative for you. I think it's a very important topic. I know that there are very many diverse opinions about this. Uh, such as uh, the spine is allowed to move in all directions and blah 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 and that is true okay that is true guys but when we when we lift heavy and most of the time we want to be in alignment putting on the shoes it doesn't really matter lifting heavy weights moving around in general posture we want good alignment it's that simple guys okay have a nice day